Mm. You are the one who needs me, yet I am the one who comes up to you. You don't need to put effort into seeking for me because I am one of the paramount goals that every individual needs to gain. So it's a must. I am quality education. I am the medium to raise the future successors of our beloved country. Together with my camaraderies, we will ensure to guide you build your way to your destination, to your future profession. But an establishment needs a strong foundation, a good quality that provides proper progress for the sake of good outcome. Quality over quantity. Quality education over quantity of illiterates. I enable people to improve their skills and attributes in order to achieve their potential as human beings and members of society. I am giving you the satisfaction of fulfilling your curiosity by providing you what you want and need to know. But despite of knowing that I am given freely, still, according to the PSA last 2010, there are almost 10% of you who are still out of school and educated. In this case, am I really the problem? I guess it isn't just me. It is also you and the society. We lack zero discrimination policies, lack of accountability for those children who drop out of education, and weak government monitoring mechanisms. These are among the government's failures to ensure the right quality for children who experience discrimination. So by these dirts, how can we ensure that the children can still receive a high quality of education? The global push for primary education through development agendas, specifically in infrastructure, has been diverted to less political and financial attention being paid for secondary education that results for millions of adolescents to stop their studies. At this point, lacking financial support pushes them to work at an early age. This puts them at a high risk of child exploitation, including labor, trafficking, early pregnancy, and recruitment to armed group of forces. If only they're at school, there's a possibility that these given conjunctures might be prevented, since education are a powerful protective factor. It enlightens the children's mind about the bad activities that can lead them to great danger. They will be less vulnerable to these rampant forms. Also, how can the government give us high-quality education if there are no strong-willed and reliable students who are hankering for knowledge from more learnings? They are lacking determination, which triggered them to poorly perform in school. Some say that education is the key to success, but, but what's happening now is that education, together with its quality, was being misused. Some researchers from the PSA said that about 3% of students in our country quitted schooling because of the common and boring trait that their educators have. Only in terms of teaching techniques and too boring to catch his or her listeners' attention. Educators need to think of a modern type of teaching strategy to gain the interest, attention, and respect that they're asking, since their listeners are known to be wild curious cats or so-called millennials. Honestly, we're lacking of well-trained professional educators, yet we're bunches in issues about equity for providing funds, and investments for educational purposes, leaving the determined children in chaos while tightly holding to their promise to their parents, the promise to fulfill their dreams and be successful. The other reason for those who are out of school yet is the corporal punishment of school. Corporal punishment is a punishment given to some students who are not taking their studies seriously. An example of this is hitting the student and humiliating the student by shouting at them in front of their classmates. These are given to those students for them to be disciplined. Some educators and parents said that this corporal punishment helps to stop the disruptive behavior of students. But instead of being disciplined, some students feel like they, they are being humiliated. This causes them to stop attending school. The government gives action on this by implementing the non-corporal punishment. This is the opposite of the corporal punishment. In these, teachers are not allowed to use violence against the students. They should not give any physical and verbal punishment to the students. This has a positive and negative effect on the students. The positive effect of this is that the students 
are more encouraged to go to schools because they feel like they're not going to be humiliated anymore. And the negative effect of this is that they will be less disciplined and it can affect the quality of education. Development starts at home and later on improved by the institutions. Institutions that are controlled by the high ranked parliaments and were built to strengthen the foundation of self-actualization and social partnership of each and every individual in the society. It was built to promote awareness in the form of teaching, implementing the total absence of violence and discrimination because of being uneducated. Education is the key to success. Dreams are the signs to follow, and our determination will guide us to the right path. Quality is the heart of education. And again, quality over quantity. Quality education over, quali over quantity of illiterates. It's better for a child to spend his or her time in school learning than wildly enjoying, then full of terms and regrets later.